Hey all, Tony Bing here. Hello and welcome to my Master Blow endgame build for Black Bolt for Marvel Heroes Omega for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now, in this build guide video, we'll check out the skills and talents we're using. We'll have a look at the synergies. We'll also have a look at the infinity point allocation. This is where we place the first 100 points. We'll check out the general gear and priority. And at the end of the video, we'll have some gameplay to show off the rotation and how the actual build works as well. Now, if you want to jump to any section, check out the description. There will be timestamps there. Otherwise, we'll start off by looking at the skills. For the skills here, we're using a combination of ranged melee and movement skills. That's how I really do feel you get the most out of Black Bolt. Now, two skills we can possibly change around a little bit based on your own personal preference. And the first one of those would be Quasi Sonic Bolt. So this is your main filler and it restores charge. Now, I personally prefer this over the alternative option, which you can use, which is Close Combat, which is essentially the melee equivalent. The reason I prefer the Quasi Sonic Bolt is you don't have to be close to an enemy to use it. So it makes it nice and easy to actually start building up charge. Whereas with the melee one, you have to go all the way up to them first before you can start building it. So it's up to you which one you, you do prefer to use really. Now for the first cooldown skill, it's a crash down, it's split the sky. We've got this through talents that it has cosmic confluence which means you've got the initial damage packet, you've got a dot vulnerability and also restores charge as well. We follow that up with another dot which is Quasi Sonic Geyser. That's again a pride vulnerability which you don't need. I'm using it really so we've got the two dots stacking on top of each other. The next skill we have because we'll be in the enemy's face is Terrigen Breath and that'll pull more enemies towards us. It does a damage packet and regenerates 20% of your charge. And then the next skill we have is Regal Mandate. So this one will do 10 separate hits, 50% damage reduction. The cooldown's 8 seconds, but if you have charge, which you should have all the time, due to the fact we are generating it through Split in the Sky, which we're actually standing in, then the cooldown's only 2 seconds. So if you're taking on an Elite, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're using this every 2 seconds in your rotation to do a lot of damage on that single target. Now, when it comes to the final skill, before we look at the actual signature, a few options you can use here. Currently, I have Atalan Leadership, so the cooldown is 12 seconds. The rest of the skills we've showed so far, the cooldown is actually 6 seconds on them, so this one you just use every second rotation. You've got the damage packet, base damage and movement speed increase, and it's got a 50% up time. Now, alternatively, if you prefer, you can actually use Swooping Strikes instead here. And what I would do if you're doing that is Talent into Swooping Strikes. That's Talent Line number 2. That makes it do more damage and increases the cooldown by 50%, meaning the cooldown would be 12 seconds. So again, you have two runs throughs of your rotation before you would then cast this. So that's the alternative options that you do have available to you there. Now, we've got the signature as well. This is Master Blow, so this is very important to the build and it does a huge amount of damage. You've got the initial damage packet, you've got energy echo damage, and the power always brutally strikes. It's got a 30 second cooldown, and if you have charge, which you should have with this build, it'll work as an execute as well. So make sure when you're fighting enemies, you line them up because it'll blast all the way through them. It really is a fantastic skill. But next up, what we'll do is we'll have a look at the talents. First talent we have here is Cosmic Confluence. This will add this particular skill to split the sky. So it gives it a dot and when you're standing within that dot area as well, you will regenerate charge. So it's 5% per second. We then have Fury of Atalan and this makes the skills Terrigen Breath and Regal Mandate work together. So Regal Mandate's cooldown is refreshed when you use Terrigen Breath and Terrigen Breath also becomes a melee power that fires at your actual location. The next talent, this is one that I mentioned was in line number 2 in the skills section, so apologies for that, we can see it's in line number 3. It's Atalan Leadership, so Quasi Sonic Barrier transforms into Atalan Leadership. Alternatively, if you would rather not use this, you can use Razor Wind Wing, so this gives Swoop and Strike the extra damage, 4 second extra cooldown, pulling it up to 12 seconds, which means it fits in nice with our 6 second rotation, because we use it every second time we're going round on the rotation. Now, next talent, it's Master Blow. So this transforms your melee skill into an actual signature and it will always brutally strike. This really is pretty fantastic, this skill. 
and then the final talent it is second wind so when below 30% maximum health quasi sonic barrier automatically activates restores 15% of your max charge per second of a duration of 6 seconds and a cooldown of 12 seconds as well there but what we'll check out next in this video is we'll have a look at the optimal synergies we're using we start off then as always looking at the primary attributes it's fighting and energy and that's covered by Electra, War Machine and Gambit your more generic ones are Blade, Hawkeye, Hulk, She-Hulk and also Squirrel Girl and then the ones that work good on them due to his power tags of melee, ranged and energy would be Black Widow and also Captain Marvel as well but for the next section we'll check out Infinity Point Allocation this is where we would place the first 100 points for the infinity point allocation then for me black bolt was all about moving fast so for that reason I use the time gem and temporal loophole now he has a relatively fast hitting spender so it means it does benefit quite well from attack speed and of course you've got that movement speed as well there on top of that the mastery bonus for placing 100 points into this is when you use a med kit your dash powers gain a charge and you also gain an additional charge on top of that so it really does help to keep them moving and blasting all over the screen as I feel we should be doing but what we'll do next is we'll have a look at the general gear and priority as always then for this gearing section what I'll do is just run over some general advice of how you want to actually gear them and the kind of stats you want to look out for that way it means when new items come out in the game you know what stats you should actually be looking to itemise for now due to all the tags he has that are a bit all over the place due to the build we use really you want to use a more generic legendary so the belt of apocalypse which is just a new one from the apocalypse operation would work fantastic or alternatively you could also use the McCran crystal as well which can work really great on heroes who have various different tags as Black Bolt does. When it comes to the medallion, currently using Manic Medallion because it means when we leap in with our crash down skill we're knocking down the enemies but you could also use the Mega Sentinel Medallion which gives you a bonus to energy powers when you hit with an energy power because I think it's something like 5 of these skills actually have the energy tag. It is the vast majority of them that do have that. For the catalyst, nothing too special you have to look out for, but if you can get invisibility and of course health on hit, that will be useful. For the relic, we have the complete relic of the immortal. So this is a new one. I'm using this because it's a hybrid relic and it will give you a bonus to ranged and also melee powers. And then when it comes to the artifacts, again due to the tags he has, I prefer to use more generic ones. You've got the cigarette of cargo. You've got the Edge of Infinity, which now drops some shield supply boosts. And then you've also got the old trusty Gem of the Cursed as well there. So if you can as well, you want to look out for the Cosmic Effects where you reduce the cooldown of your signature by 10%. Because his signature really is fantastic, so more often you can use it, the better. When it comes to your slots 1 to 5, look out for crit rating and not as much Brutal Strike because you can potentially get it from Apocalypse's belt, but do try and get some Brutal Damage rating because that will really work fantastic with your actual signature. But what we'll do to finish off the video as always, we've got some gameplay. As always, I'll mention this isn't to show them off in best in slot gear because as you can see, I don't have that at the moment. It's just to showcase the build and the rotation. So we'll run through the Sinister's Lab, we'll take out the full bounty clear, take down Sinister at the end, and hopefully it'll be a nice fun gameplay video to watch. But as always, if there's any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll see you all again soon.
few specimens. <laughs> 